I was able to test the gear and put all my bags and equipment on the paddleboard and pull it behind the kiteboard. Today I didn't have a lot of winds, so the winds were kind of light and I need a little bit more just so that I could go and tack up wind. So I had to go downwind and I also ran across some oyster beds which hit my board but didn't hit the inflatable paddleboard luckily. If it would have hit that, it could have been really bad. Because as I was walking up with all the glass, oyster shells were the worst. If that If I would have lost control of that kite and it pulled me across that oyster bed, it would have ripped me to shreds. Super sharp. lucky I didn't cut my feet up so I might have to get me some water shoes or something so I won't have to worry about that or at least provide some protection. Once I brought the kite down I had to paddle back against the wind which makes it pretty tough because my body acts like a sail and I'm maybe maybe making a mile in an hour a mile and a half something like that it's really slow going so I've got to find a way to carry the gear. So I think I'm gonna make me a little cart that I can break down and put on top of the paddleboard. Maybe even leave the paddleboard inflated. So if I ever go to a rigid board, I can just put it on top of that, strap down all the gear to the board and use that. Because if things go bad and I have to walk a long distance, I don't wanna to have to make two trips. So next goal is a trip. Maybe a day, two days, whatever, it doesn't matter. But now I know I can carry that gear.